I'm Alex George Yu. I'm a home performance specialist and I work for Recurve. Uh, as a home performance specialist, I go to houses most of the time during the week and perform energy audits um, and also advise them on what the recommendations are uh, to improve their energy use or to improve their health or comfort. Uh, generally speaking, there's one, one day in the office uh, and four days out in the field. Uh, so it's either solo, so you're by yourself going out to the audit on, on the smaller homes or for bigger homes, you have a technician with you, uh, so you would travel in teams of two. So a, a regular day for me, uh, if, we have, if we have two audits for the day, which is, is customary, uh, it's, the audits are at 9 o'clock in the morning and then 2 in the afternoon. Um, so I get to the office around 7.30 or 8 o'clock, um, head out to the house. Uh, if you're doing a house by yourself, then you're all by yourself. Uh, you're talking to the homeowner, you're understanding what their desires and goals are, what their pain points are. Uh, and then you're spending about you know two three hours going through the house, going in the attic, going in the crawl space, yeah. looking at the major systems like the furnace and water heater, uh, putting the whole house into the energy model. It's a lot of data collection and data uh, entry. Uh, and then from there you wrap up for another about half an hour on the back end, uh, walking the client through uh, what you've found and your initial recommendations. Uh, as you can see here, um, this duct is not connected to the boot, and so when the heating system is on, uh, it's, it's not getting that heat into the room. So this job is a new industry, so one of the hardest parts about that is it's, it's a fluctuating demand. So one day you're slammed and one day you don't have enough, enough business, so you're always in this kind of flux and it is, it is quite stressful in that sense. Um, the other aspect is that you're going in attics and crawl spaces, which are very dirty, dusty, you have to wear masks. Um, so if you have you know, very sensitive respiratory issues, it's not, it's not a job for you. It's hot up there. My favorite aspects of a job are, are two main things. Um, one is that you're really helping the homeowners, the people who are living in these houses, um, for health and comfort and efficiency reasons. And the second big one is you're really helping the nationwide energy crisis. Um, it's really the bridge towards new technologies, uh, moving from uh, kind of a fossil fuel to a sustainable to a power generation uh, nationwide model. Uh, in terms of recommending this job to other people uh, in, in, the, in the green jobs uh, scene, uh, I would definitely say that you, you should be committed to it and you should be willing to work those long hours. Uh, you should be willing or, or happy about the, the energy impact that you're having, specifically on homes and the built environment. Uh, if you don't have those things, um, from, from, from our company, people who, who haven't had those things, they don't like the job, they, they don't last very long, uh, it's just not a good fit. Um, so if you, if you enjoy thinking, if you enjoy you know, understanding a, a problem and creating a solution for it, um, that's, that's, a, that's one big part of it. I've sealed off the door with this. Uh, we're going to suck air out of the house, and then wherever there's leaks in the house, air is going to be coming in. So we're going to be able to find where they are. Great. So in addition to the kind of technical side, knowing what's going on with the building uh, and also how to, how to prescribe the solutions, um, the, the, actually the, the crux of the, the position is, is a face-to-face -face interaction with the clients, with the customers. Um, and that's when you're going to be able to really convey to them the value of the service. So tightening that up so you can, also, so you can have better air quality and keep the heat in um, it makes you much more efficient, much more healthy, much more comfortable. So it's really this kind of mix of having a really good analytical side and also really good people skills um, so that you can convey all that great knowledge that you have uh, and so that they will actually move forward and take action uh, to improve their homes and, and go forward with work. So my background, I'm not an engineer, I'm not a builder. I can, could barely use a, a screwdriver when I first showed up. Um, I, have a, I have a business degree. Uh, I never thought I would go into the construction industry. But once I looked at it and understood the, the value, it was a place I wanted to be. Um, and so the, the nice thing about that is that there are places that can train you up and get you ready to enter this field if it is the place you want to be. Uh, what, what I get a lot of value in is that every time we do a retrofit on somebody's house, I'm drastically improving their quality of life, drastically improving their, their indoor air quality, their health, and lower their, lowering their energy bills 
uh, providing this, this cushion for technologies of the future. And so for me, it's, it's mostly about you know, what kind of impact do I have on the world? You know, and, and this job uh, makes me feel great about that.